Hi, my name is Blush and I'm a product manager at Metril. In this uh, Mason video tutorial, I'm gonna reveal to you how to get started creating an auto sequence. In this particular tutorial, it will be, uh, it will be an auto sequence for uh, MI3360M medical equipment testing model. Uh, my main goal is uh, to make the logic behind the auto sequence editor understandable to every user. So before we start uh, using the auto sequence editor, we first have to be sure that we will work in the correct work scope. If we work in a different work scope as supported uh, on our test instrument, everything that we create will be useless. If we are not sure about the work scope of our test instrument, uh, we can simply connect it to the PC and execute the command uh, get data or open Mason help uh, where we can find the work scope mapping table in the appendix A. Uh, so now we will perform this uh, um, get data operation. So we click on get data, select appropriate COM port, uh, which has to be um, measurement instrument uh, USB COM port and execute start. So now the currently open project uh, of our uh, instrument will be downloaded and here in the bottom left corner we can see that the scope, the work scope of our test instrument is a PAT new instrument. The second option as I said is here under the help where we can check uh, under appending C and we can see here this uh, instrument work scope mapping table. So now that uh, we know which is uh, correct work scope for our test instrument, we can proceed building our test sequence. We start by mm, selecting uh, auto sequence editor, then uh, new auto sequence group. And now we can see that a few extra options are enabled. Um, I will first make a short explanation of our dashboard. So um, at the top we have two tabs, um, home tab, um, which is active by default, providing managing of data, uh, data files, auto sequences, communication with instruments, uh, access to uh, additional tools and work scope settings. Uh, view tab uh, provides commands to organize uh, view of working area, uh, tile vertically or uh, horizontally, close all documents, uh, reset to originate view and switch between windows. Uh, let us now return back to the home tab. Uh, the easiest way to explain the test sequence functionality is uh, to uh, download the default test sequences from uh, the test instrument. Uh, we will use the option uh, connect, where we select the appropriate communication port, uh, which uh, should be labeled with the measurement instrument USB label. So again here, USB. On the right side uh, of the connect window, we see uh, the data which is located on the instrument. Uh, we can select um, single uh, measurement or um, we can select uh, all or we can even uh, delete the auto sequences. So once the uh, selection is made, uh, we can simply uh, use this uh, transfer button and we will transfer this file to our uh, PC. So once we see the file uh, on the left side, uh, we can close the connect window and browse for the file on the PC. So here we can now see that the sequences are organized in the uh, folder structure. Uh, we can also see that the test sequences are um, 
that the test sequences are protected with a lock, uh, meaning that uh, we are not able to change parameters of these uh, uh, sequences directly. But if we want to uh, create similar test sequences as the original, we can copy them into a new tab. Like this. Um, lock and the unique code of the test sequence uh, has now um, has now disappeared, um, meaning that we can uh, modify them per our wishes. Now it is also the right time to say a few uh, additional words about uh, elements located on the on the main uh, window. Uh, on the right side, uh, we can find. Uh, single tests um, that are uh, same as supported on uh, MI3360 uh, single tests menu. Uh, limits and parameters of the measurements can be set as well as uh, results and sub-results. Um, measurement menu is divided into different uh, uh, subgroups, each containing some specific uh, and generic uh, measurements for a certain application. Uh, note, uh, when creating custom auto sequences, care must be taken uh, to select the appropriate single test uh, according to the test terminal through which the test will be performed uh, on the instrument. Uh, information can be found in the user manual of the test instrument. Um, now a few words uh, about uh, different small features such as um, number of uh, measurement steps. Uh, often the same measurement step has to be performed on uh, multiple points uh, on the device under test. It is possible to set how many times a measurement step will be repeated. All um, carried out individual single test results are stored in the auto sequence result as uh, if they were uh, programmed uh, as independent measurement steps. Um, here we can choose up to nine, 999 uh, steps. Uh, the second uh, thing uh, to explain are the uh, flow commands. Uh, flow commands are uh, used to control the flow of measurements. Uh, some of the flow commands need to switch the state from uh, inactive to active for operation. Uh, specific uh, flow commands remain active until a uh, new same flow command is inserted to auto sequence with the state set to inactive uh, for operation. Uh, flow commands are user selectable and can be added uh, to test sequence using drag and drop. Um, flow commands operation uh, after uh, operation after end of uh, of uh, test uh, and uh, flow command uh, result screen. Uh, are entered by default. Other, uh, others are uh, user selectable uh, from flow uh, commands menu. Result screen uh, flow command uh, control the proceeding after the auto sequence has ended. Uh, so the options uh, option auto save uh, or in some cases auto print can be enabled uh, in this step of the sequence. Uh, double click on um, Inserted flow command opens menu window uh, where text or picture can be entered. Uh, external signaling and external uh, commands can be activated and parameters can be set. Um, let us now check uh, the rest of the flow commands uh, one by one. Uh, flow command uh, pause 
but for this I will rather uh, start and create uh, a new test sequence like this and insert low command pause. Uh, so a uh, pause flow command um, mm, with uh, text messages or pictures can be inserted anywhere in the measurement steps. Um, also, warning uh, warning icon uh, can be um, can be added uh, to these uh, text messages. Uh, arbitrary uh, text message uh, can be entered in uh, prepared uh, text field. Um, of the text uh, menu window. Uh, the second flow command is uh, buzzer mode. This flow command indicates uh, pass fail statuses of the measurement uh, with beeps. For pass after the um, for pass after the test uh, double beep is performed, and for fail after the test a long beep is for is performed. So beep uh, uh, happens right after single test measurement. Then, uh, of course, we have to set it to on to be activated and or to off to deactivate this flow command. Uh, the third one is uh, flow command no notification mode. Again, it has statuses for on and off. Uh, if uh, this flow command is activated, uh, the instrument skips uh, pre-test warnings, uh, but of course for more information see user manual of the uh, instrument um, under the chapter symbols and messages. So the next one uh, from the flow command lists is inspection expert mode. Again it has state on and off. Uh, when it is set to state off, uh, so if inspection expert mode uh, um, flow command is set, uh, the visual inspection screen and functional inspection screen within auto sequence are displayed for one second and an overall pass uh, is automatically applied at the end of the test. In between the automatic procedure can be stopped and statuses can be applied manually. Inspection expert mode is disabled by default. Uh, the last one of these flow commands is an appliance info flow, flow command. So uh, if this flow command uh, is installed, instruments, uh, instrument enables to automatically select the appliance type and the appliance ID, appliance name and retest period to the test sequence. Uh, also, the selected uh, structure element is generated automatically. Uh, let us now focus on the, mm, uh, on the test sequence we will build by ourselves, uh, which we uh, will also check uh, on the instruments simulator and explain some elements of the sequence itself. Uh, I will put uh, both applications uh, side by side, so it will be uh, very obvious uh, what will happen on the instrument uh, and uh, what kind of uh, flow commands we will use. Uh, so now that we see here uh, on the screen uh, both uh, the auto sequence uh, editor and uh, also the uh, simulator, we will uh, create uh, three different uh, auto sequences from which we will see what are uh, the main purposes of these flow commands and how they actually uh, behave. So probably the best option is to, okay, to totally delete this sequence here, delete and create a new one. So we add new auto sequence. Uh, we will uh, rename it to demo demo sequence one like this and um, first uh, we will add to this um, demo sequence uh, two inspections one will be um, visual inspection and the other will be functional inspection so we 
simply double click on the on the measurement so visual inspection we see that it is now it has now appeared here and the second one is uh, functional inspection of course it would be uh, probably better that we would add first visual inspection then measurements and uh, the last uh, functional inspection but we can also do uh, drag and drop uh, so this um, mm, uh, list of measurements uh, can be uh, rearranged so we have visual inspection now we will add a measurement uh, continuity of course it's uh, placed to the last uh, to the last step but we can simply uh, drag it uh, further so we have visual continuity and we will add additional measurement which is let's say substitute leakage test again we drag this one uh, one step higher so now we have um, our sequence organized uh, in a way uh, visual inspection, continuity test, substitute leakage test and functional inspection. Um, we were speaking before about the flow command operation after end of test, which is uh, automatically inserted in every measuring step. Uh, we will mm, set this flow command to proceed automatically in case uh, that the uh, end of the test uh, result is passed. Uh, we will do this for all these measuring steps. So continuity, again, auto, okay. Also here, this is set auto and uh, function inspection set to auto. Uh, so this is now um, basically the workflow of our test sequence. All we have to do uh, is to set also the limits and other parameters if needed. So for the single test, as I said, there are there is possibility to set different outputs uh, of the instrument. Uh, we have to know uh, which outputs will be used, uh, but we can find this information in the user manual. And also, we set also the limit. Okay. Then also for the substitute leakage test, we select the terminal, uh, the duration, and the limit. So, such an auto sequence uh, can already be uh, uploaded to our simulator or to our test instrument and we can proceed testing. But of course, um, as I said, I would like to, uh, to show you also some uh, different possibilities. Uh, so the second one will be a copy of this first sequence. Uh, we will rename it to auto sequence two. And uh, for this one, we will, for example, install um, an appliance info flow command. We will install it into the header, appliance info. Um, for this uh, uh, first uh, um, appliance info flow command, we will use the default settings, uh, meaning that only um, the ID number of the, um, the instrument will ask us, ask us only about the uh, appliance ID. Uh, during this uh, execution of auto sequence. But we will see how this will proceed. Uh, we will also use flow command pause. We will install it here in the continuity test. And for this one, we will uh, show picture. So we select show picture. Uh, we have to search for image path. And we select, for example, protective earth resistance uh, picture. Open, okay. So this means that uh, the picture will be shown during the test. And we can use another flow command uh, for the substitute leakage test. Here we can use um, uh, text. So we say, um, for example, next test uh, sub leakage. And we can also show the warning icon if you want. Okay. So we have now two different, uh, two different auto sequences um, uh, with the same measurements but different flow commands. And we can choose the third one, uh, copy, paste. For the third one, um, we will enable um, also these uh, measurement steps. Usually for the earth continuity test, there are more than um, only uh, uh, one uh, measuring point. So in case that we are uh, testing uh, known devices and know how many measuring points uh, they include, we can already uh, enter this um, 
uh, count. So we can say two measurements, okay. And as I said before, we can also use uh, auto save or auto print option. In this case, we will simply use auto save, okay. And also for the uh, appliance uh, info, we will enable two additional options. Uh, which will pop up uh, during the test uh, to enter um, appliance name and also the retest period for this appliance. So now we have created three different uh, test sequences, which we will simply upload to our, to our simulator. First, we can check on the simulator uh, how many different sequences I already have. Um, we will delete some of them, so we won't be confused. Delete also this one. So now the um, simulator contains only uh, two uh, official auto sequence groups from Material, and uh, now we will add uh, additional one which we have just created. For this, we can use either option connect or uh, upload. So we will use upload and proceed with yes. Database is saved. We select appropriate uh, COM port and uh, perform upload. Due to the fact that this is a short auto sequence group, it will be uploaded uh, quickly. And uh, now we can already search for this group on our simulator. Auto sequence groups. Uh, just a second. Ah, sorry. Uh, my mistake. I have uh, uploaded this auto sequence group to the test instrument. So again, Upload. I have to choose different COM ports, so this will be um, serial port emulator start. And now the test sequences are being uploaded to the simulator. I can go here, auto sequence group, and demo test sequence. Select this one, and now we can see here that we have. Uh, these three uh, test sequences that we have created. Uh, for each one, uh, we can already on the instrument or on the simulator uh, check uh, the measurement steps. We can see that this particular auto sequence consists out of uh, visual inspection, continuity, sub leakage and functional inspection. Uh, what we cannot see here are the flow commands, uh, which can be only observed uh, on the PC software, but um, after we start a specific test sequence, also the flow command uh, will have effect on this test sequence. So if you proceed with the first one, we can see that now uh, this first uh, measuring step is executed. Continue. Uh, we jump exactly uh, directly into the measurement because the first uh, measuring step was passed. And from uh, this measuring step to the next one and uh, to the last one, where we can now um, use the save option. Um, so this uh, auto sequence is the only auto sequence in, in our, um, on our instrument, which is without an appliance info flow command. That's why uh, now this uh, save option has appeared and uh, inside our structure, we will have to create an, um, a structure element appliance. If we save the measurements uh, directly under the location or project, uh, we will have uh, problems printing uh, reports because this is how the logic of this instrument works. So we have to uh, use uh, create structure, uh, select an uh, appropriate element. Appliance uh, FD stands for appliance full description. Uh, and uh, normal appliance structure element stands for appliance uh, for uh, structure element with less parameters. So if I maybe uh, quickly show you here in, in Mason, if I select uh, structure and uh, add to this uh, particular structure two new elements, uh, appliance full description and normal appliance, we can see in this uh, part here that appliance full description has um, a lot of parameters in compared to this normal appliance. So this is the difference. Um, so also here on the simulator, I will select uh, appliance full description. Uh, we can add our own ID number, uh, 
zero three, for example, uh, we can say that we are testing uh, hand dryer and click create and save. Um, this is uh, how this particular auto sequence works. If we use um, different logic with the appliance info flow commands, which is installed in this demo sequence uh, two, um, we will see now the difference. So we start the test sequence and we see that the instrument pop ups, uh, pops up with this uh, appliance uh, ID window, where we can already, uh, before starting the test, enter the appliance ID number. Zero 04, for example, enter and proceed with testing. Uh, we have also added uh, uh, pictures, uh, one picture in this auto sequence, which is displayed during the test. And in the next step, also a text uh, message with a warning icon will display. So we see next test, sub leakage and a warning icon here. After the test um, is uh, finished, all we have to do is to press save. Now um, we just select location and save. If we now uh, jump into the uh, memory organizer, we will see that for this uh, for this device, the uh, structure element was added uh, uh, automatically, uh, so we didn't have to search for it from the um, uh, element structure uh, menu. Uh, the, the last uh, uh, demo sequence has this option uh, for, for auto storing uh, uh, results, so uh, this one will be executed even faster. So again, we press start, uh, we enter the uh, ID number of the device under test. Uh, the next one is to enter um, uh, the name. And the third one is to enter also the retest period of, for, this, uh, for this particular appliance. Enter. And from here on, we proceed. Um, this uh, third auto sequence had also uh, two steps for continuity measurement, so we can see that uh, this uh, test is being repeated twice. Uh, and uh, the third one is the sub leakage and function inspection. After the test was finished, we also see now that we don't have any uh, save option here because the uh, results of this auto sequence are automatically stored into the memory organizer. So if we uh, return to our memory organizer, we can see um, that uh, now a new node here is created uh, containing this particular auto sequence, which is automatically stored. If we would uh, keep on proceed uh, with uh, testing, all these new auto sequences uh, will be added uh, under this uh, new node, which is named uh, um, uh, by the current month and year. Of course, after all these uh, measurement steps are performed, we can also download the data to the PC software and uh, of course, uh, relocate all these, uh, all these um, measured appliances uh, with the function uh, drag and drop. An overview of uh, Auto Sequence Editor is now finished. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one.